Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense. I try to keep it down under the nitty gritty under 10 minutes. And if it goes over 10 minutes, it's something very, very, very important. And not important to liberals, libertards, people who believe in God, people like to smoke, people like to drink, people like ayahuasca, people like DMT. Listeners' discretion is advised. And if you have any comments, questions, insults, or roast fest, you put it down below. Please check my credentials or who I am down below. <clears throat> So I talk about topics that most people don't talk about on the internet, but if you do find it on the internet, I will usually say that um, it's just this response video or I saw a video, but nine times out of ten, I don't like talking about what everybody likes to talk about on the internet. All right. All right. So let's get on with the topic for today. If you have any comments, questions, insults, or roast fest, you put it down below. This video is about how to protect yourself from countries that may scam you or anywhere, <clears throat> as a matter of fact, okay? And the key element here is your phone. The key element here is your phone. Your phone is your savior. So make sure you have a backup. You make sure you make big copies of the videos or whatever, yada, yada, yada. Trust me on this. Your phone will be your savior. All right. When I hear stories about all these catastrophes that be happening to foreigners going into countries like Nigeria, which is a country that, you know, people tell me all the time that's a scam country. Okay. But I'm not afraid. Okay. One thing you must do <clears throat> is that if you're approached and you got the official documentation, especially from your you're from European countries, start start recording it from that jump. Today's date is yo yada yada yada. This person here claims to say, "What is your name?" They will automatically run away. They should run away if they don't want any trouble, okay? Because the embassy there, compared to um, and you do comparisons to the, you know, magistrate. That's there. It's going to be reported eventually because everything must be linked. You got to have evidence of the person you're talking to. You got to make sure you have documentation because they will reimburse you. They will give that money back to you. Trust me. I'm waiting for something to try to happen. I just pop off because people talk about all sorts of crazy shit. When I was trying to trying to travel to Ethiopia, try to travel to Gambia, people try to talk shit because I make videos. This is America. I'm in America. So they shouldn't be watching you. They shouldn't even be watching you uh, uh, fucking YouTube because they get things misconstrued. You, do you understand if the level of liberalism or far leftism is this way in America, then it's like multiplied by two or three in another country. This is why I tell guys all the time, like whatever when someone who's low minded, I say low minded, meaning that they'll jump to conclusions, meaning that if someone says I have magical powers and you say that shit in America and they don't understand the American culture. They'll automatically pro probably start believing that you have. They'll probably try to kill you over there. But nine times out of ten, those countries will not fight you and shit. I'm talking about like trying to gang up on you, trying to say they kill you. It's not going to happen. It's just run their mouth, okay? Because I went to Ethiopia and they told me it was going to kill me and put me on the post list and whatever. Blah 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 blah. blah. I'm like, dude, I'm from America, so you better start understanding American culture. Anything goes with American culture. Everything goes with American culture. But the moral what I'm saying here to protect yourself is to use your phone. And you better have other people around you. You can't let no one take, a, take you away if they're not official. They could be robbers inside of the airport. Port. You got to make sure they don't take you somewhere outside your vicinity. Make sure you're always in the public, okay? Because if they take something from you and you don't got their faces recorded, okay, you are in deep shit. There are people who go overseas and they don't even have no backup plans, man. I tell them guys all the time, I'm CIA, if anything happens to me, this whole area will be fucked up, okay? CIA, okay? <laughs> I had to make up that little story, though. You know, making up the story, say, hey, I'm, I could be CIA, you know, and then you want to mess with me. Don't mess with me, okay? Because I'm not afraid of them motherfuckers, okay? Other than that, that's all I really wanted to say. Uh, take your camera, start recording names, times, and places, what you got on your passport, what they are doing, you record that shit because if you start recording, they'll know that you're serious. And you, what you're saying is that they're not af you're not afraid of them, right? So they look at that fear. They feed off of fear just like this fucking stupid 19, okay? This is fear tactic. They get money from that shit, okay? You already know how it works, okay? There's a lot of imbeciles out there. People who are fear-mongering will basically get things because they're scared, okay? I keep telling people, why you get it? Why you get it when you know common sense, okay? Don't get it, man. Look at the history of things. But other than that, that's not really going to say how to protect yourself overseas. It's a very short video because I just saw another video on Facebook. And I try to tell people all the time that make sure you have your official documentation, especially if you know what time and what you're coming back from. Put it all down, okay? You only stand for this day to this day. 
All right, you gotta put. You, I almost got stuck in. I tried to get stuck in Ethiopia because I liked it so much over there that I even tried to lose my passport. But my Holy Spirit prevented me from staying over there. I even went to the police and everything. I had to pay a small fine. But other than that, because my wife didn't know what she was doing, okay, because I overstayed my welcome. And basically, the guy took the right steps to go take it to the authorities and shit like that. He didn't want to go to no bullshit. But also, another thing, too, you must find, you can, should not go over there for just one person. If, if you're trying to meet someone, <clears throat> you can't leave that airport unless you've got a backup plan. What if the person don't show up? you got to think ahead, guys. You can't be going out there without no friends or no associates. You know, knowing someone who's already out there, okay, you knowing a family member, okay, because if you don't know people, they can get you, and then next thing you know, they won't even involve because they don't really care about you. I tell any female or any person I come to, I said, if anything happens to me, I can never enter this country again. No matter how traumatized it is, y'all better have y'all shit together because I'm from a European country, so you should just respect me because I'm black and educated enough to travel my ass over there, right? All right, so other than that, okay. I don't go over no countries, sex, doing ex sex exploitation. I don't do that shit. I at least get a chance to know women. I don't be like going over there just being whoremongering and traveling over there. I actually have fucking videos. Check my Mafia's knowledge, the first one. Check my credentials down below. You'll see everything you need to know. But other than that, I'm also, I just want you guys to understand. Y'all should try to join Rumble. Okay? Join Rumble. Me, we. Okay? Even though these are more privatized, um, like Facebook. There's everybody you join is usually those people who you talk to and they get in touch with you. It's not as popular yet as Facebook or anything. But Gitter, just G-E-T-T-R. Download that. Okay, Signal. Okay, Signal.com. MeWe, M-E-W-E.com. And also, um, <clears throat> that's about it. That's the three ones I'm on. Signal, MeWe, and Rumble, and Getter. Okay? Because they don't try to, um, they're not sensitive, okay? You know, there's certain things you can't post, obviously, like terrorism and nudity, okay? But freedom of speech is not in danger there. But freedom of speech is more in danger when it comes down to YouTube or even Facebook. So you be careful because you could be in the comment section. This is, But I digress when I'm talking because I talk very quickly. When you're on the Facebook, you, you know, you, you type something and get, it could get misconstrued, okay? Or I don't know why they just don't delete it and just let you continue with your life. They're trying to block your page and restrict you and teach you a lesson psychologically, which is a good thing in a sense. But some, what if it's a mistake? But you're not talking to a, you don't always talk to a human. You're talking to a robot, okay? And that's the thing I don't like about Facebook and YouTube because they go by algorithm. They don't even get in touch with you. you. They don't have no discussions. They just feel that you're trying to put out something when there's other bigger fish to fry. But I digress. So now you know how to protect yourself from going to other countries. Use your cameras. Turn it on. <clears throat> Make sure, cause the cameras always, you know, you have a backup. backup. As soon as your camera stops, you better put it on the backup, put it on the internet somewhere, put it somewhere. Because if you go to another country and they don't got good internet, you could be fucking yourself. <clears throat> you could be really fucking yourself. So have people do know there. Okay, make sure your documents is intact. Make sure you don't. If somebody walk up on you, like, and you, you ask them, who are you? Okay, you, who are you to detain me? And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna start recording because I don't trust none of you. Okay. <laughs> I don't trust none of you. So you explain to me how this is wrong when I just came from the United States. You tell me. And then you can post it. You can show it. Okay. You know, shit like that. They don't get scared. Because there are fraudsters in the airport. There's fraudsters everywhere in poor countries who's seeking must, mostly money. Okay. And then any scammers are not really working with the government. They're inside workers. They, they, they don't, that don't belong to work there too. Let me see your documentation. Let me see your papers of who you are. You have a right to ask those things. <clears throat> They're not, they're not, they have no right to detain you for something you didn't do. You got to, they got to, they got to prove that you broke the law. The whole benefit is on, the whole uh, burden is on them. They got to say, well, wh where did I broke the law? I said, nope, nope, this is, I'm coming from here. I'm, I'm on my way back here. Okay. But I saw this white woman who traveled to Nigeria <clears throat> and she ran into a problem and they, 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 they spotted her up because she's white. They won't say nothing to me probably because I'm black, <clears throat> but you white folks, you better watch out. Okay, I already told you already. They they catch snapping up people. They say well, you want to travel, you got to be careful. Okay, and they think you got money when you're white. Okay, that's a superficial bias, but they don't know anything about the other races. All I think about is white has more money, and they want to try to rob your ass. So be careful. I'm out of here, guys. I love you all, but hit the menu. Hope you learned something in this video. Peace.